VEX is Vexing the Flesh and I'm back with another reaction video. Now I've been paying attention to this Jonathan Majors stuff and I'm not gonna lie, it's getting really, really crazy. In today's video, we checking out Jonathan Majors' career might never recover. I don't know what's, what's happened recently, but this story has been developing really, really quick. Let's see what they got, bro. Agent and Low. I'm sad to report. The Snow Bunny got another one, man. Dang, bro, what? Nigga Majors, he was found guilty. Guilty? On assault charges, man. No! For oh, real? Because <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. I think we trolling too much. Yo, welcome back, playback. Let's go back. So the Jonathan Major trial is officially over, and um, just to cut through a lot of the BS, he was found guilty on two charges, but also not guilty on another two charges. The two charges that he was found not guilty on are probably the more um, important ones, the ones that were going to put him in jail for an extended period of time, was the... Uh, assault in a third degree with intent to cause physically injured, physical harm or physical Not guilty. That was not Wait. guilty. And also the aggravated uh, harassment in second degree, also not guilty. However, bro, this, I need to hear more. The charge that he was found guilty for was the uh, assault in third degree, recklessly causing physical injury and also harassment in second degree. Uh, this is a, a a slight win because Jonathan Majors is not gonna do any extended period of time in jail. If he does, it's only up to uh, one year for a thousand dollar fine and three years of probation based off the research I'm that sorry, I've done. one year is crazy. That's yeah. what it's up to. Bro, that's what I was about to say, bro. Any amount of time in jail is crazy, bro. Y'all don't understand time is the most important thing you're given in life, bro. What? One year of your life just gone? Like, you know how much you could do in a year? Think about how much you could do in a week. Like, a week be, bro. <laughs> in three years of probation based off the research I'm sorry, done. one year is crazy. A week in jail That's is crazy to me. To. Well, a lot of people believe that <laughs> he's probably not going to do I'd be staying out the way. He's probably going to get hit with a fine. Especially because the harassment in second degree, that's technically not even a criminal charge. It's just a fine. You get hit with a ticket. It's fine. You don't have a criminal record. The only thing that's going to hold a criminal record against him would be the third degree reckless, um, recklessly causing a physical injury assaults that he was found guilty on. Basically, the, uh, now, when it comes to the two not guilty, guilty charges what essentially it means that the jury did not believe that um he is this aggressive man that was going around bopping her from left to right uh, none of those you know none of the piece of evidence pointed to that and that makes sense because okay. uh, everything was fairly inconsistent from start to finish unfortunately i know many people who probably wasn't following the case don't understand why but just briefly the people out there who talk about the text message and the voice recording be very mindful that was from another incident was not in this incident and uh, before we even got in the beginning of the trial grace jabari was on record saying that jonathan majors had never put her hands on her before until the night that was in question. So if we were to believe her and she said this under oath, then those text messages and that voice recording had to be referencing something that did not lead to a uh, physical altercation. So okay. there's that. Um, those text messages may seem damning and the voice recording is definitely damning. It sounds damning. But if you are a man in particular, or a black man especially, you probably understand the perception of what it may feel like to be someone that looks like you are bopping a woman and so you're going to be very cautious on how people deal with it. so much so that you yeah. probably wouldn't call the police and that's why i think jonathan may just kind of outlined that way in the text message and okay. um, also it wouldn't be consistent with his character because if you believe bro i ain't gonna lie as any man you really have to be careful around women bro because anybody could say anything do anything but when a woman say something like that have to do with you it holds a little bit more weight, and that's just the society we live in. We could be mad about it. We could feel any type of way about it, but it's the truth. So now that we know that it's the truth, now we have to change our actions. You know what I'm saying? Corrective action. That he was previously bopping her, and why would he call the police on the night that is in question? I'd be in the crib. Call the police to make sure that she got her um, some type of um, attempt. Help. Some help. She was knocked out. Now, yeah. the other case, the other charge, and this is where things get a little sticky now, uh -oh. in particular, the assault in the third degree recklessly causing physical injury he was found guilty on that essentially because they believe the way that he handled the situation where he was pushing her back into the car was him acting recklessly which could have potentially um resulted in physical injury. we talked about this actually nah, we cut it out crazy. in the video but last time we recorded we said well technically but speaking, valid he did. he did shove her that is an assault you know he could get hit with that. Bro, the only person that acted recklessly was her chasing this nigga down eight different yeah. blocks. That's reckless. And yeah. it's not just like... The sad thing about this is, it's true, 
But if a girl had did it to a guy, it wouldn't be considered them possibly causing harm to you. That's the crazy part about it. Like, it's not fair, but it's fair. Like, it's crazy. Chasing this nigga down. Eight How y'all feel blocks. about that? That's reckless. And he's not just... Like, he's not just a right, he's not like, if Low walk down the street, bro, you're no danger. But if Jonathan Majors walks down the street with no security, no nothing, he could potentially be in danger. You don't know what city he's in. You don't know who wants what. You have a lot yeah. to lose. Bro, she acted so recklessly. The fact that he's being deemed the reckless one in this situation is crazy. The reality is, is her recklessness. The crazy part is, literally this clip right here is her being reckless. Deemed the reckless one in the She situation. put this person, like she put the herself in the is, car. Is her <laughs> recklessness. If I act recklessly towards you, and then in your defense of me, I you it. get accused of assaulting me, that's brain dead. That's genuinely yeah. brain dead. You're basically that's... admitting in the court system that women have no ability to harm a man. And, but men have to be ultra sensitive because even in the defense of themselves, him putting her back into the car, that qualifies as reckless causing physical injury. Yep. Yeah. That's nuts. That's literally what I just said, bro. Not facts. Yeah. I, I said that too. I said Jonathan Majors was essentially found guilty because he was too aggressive when attempting to get away from Grace Jabbar. That's essentially it. Exactly. That's, that's essentially it. Wow, bro. In the, in the attempt of trying to wow. remove himself... Remove himself and the thing is, what what do you tell a young man, especially a young man seeing stuff like this? They see examples like this. What do you tell as a father or a father figure or a, a man to man? What do you tell a man when a woman, which I will say is not all of the time. Like guys aren't innocent. Guys do be doing reckless stuff, weird stuff. Guys do be weird. I understand that. But what do you tell a young man when he see a situation like this? What's the solution? Usually you tell him to just walk away, but this man tried to walk away. He ended up having to run away like and he still got guilty. That's the crazy part. He pushed her into the car to give himself time to walk away. It didn't work. So now he have to push her again because she caught up to him and he has to run away, bro. Like, what do you tell him to do in that situation? Like he tried like <laughs> It's crazy. Wow, bro. In the, in the I'm sitting here trying to actually to think. Remove himself, remove himself from the situation and separate himself from Grace Jabari. Wow. They believe that he was acting too recklessly and he did it in an aggressive manner. And that right there, it could lead to her being injured. And that's what they found him guilty. They didn't find him guilty on this concept that he was this abusive man that was bopping her. He did not find guilty on that. He wasn't yeah. found guilty that he was harassing her with the intent to injure her. He was not found guilty of that. He was simply found guilty because he did something that they deemed reckless that could have resulted in her being in two things a i think his lawyer did a really bad job because what they did throughout the entire um case was focusing on if she was or was not hurt after the altercation what they should what? have also made sure they focused on which is also crazy because they i don't think what about the context she was injured after that altercation be very mindful that after that happened she was she used the same hand that was bruised with tied her back her hair the woman that she met tried to stop her from chasing after um, Jonathan Majors. With her hand, she snatched her hand away from her. She was using her hand on the railing to go up and down stairs throughout the nightclubs. She using her hand to- Yeah, get... like the injury, basically what he's saying, the injury not even, like it's not bad enough to where it's altering her in any type of way, form or fashion. You know what I'm saying? Like she's constantly using the hand that supposedly got hurt. During the situation, the woman that she met is she invincible? Tried to stop her from chasing after um, Jonathan Majors with her hand. She snatched her hand away from her. She was using her hand on the railing to go up and down stairs throughout the nightclubs. She using her hand to hold a cigarette, hold a drink, dig in her purse and find that nigga's credit card and swipe the left and right on VIP tables and bottles. She used her credit. She used her hand to do that all all night. And then also, this is information that we do not put in there that I learned about. Poor dude, the man. The lacerated cut behind her ear, her lacerated ear. There was no blood in the car. There was no incident or anyone saying that when they met her that they saw they saw her her her, her ear cuts. There was no blood dripping from her face. And then she went out. Mind you, somebody slapped you so hard across the face that your whole ear gets cut. You probably would have a headache and not want to go out to the club, but no. Nah, she right there by the DJ booth. <laughs> it's cut. 
you probably would have a headache and not want to go out to the club. But she no, in the loudest part of the club. Loud music. And the one incident <laughs> where they have claimed to have been blood is at the loft at the suite that they that he stays in that she passed out at where the police officer said that he did see some blood residue on the pillow which would be consistent of her putting her head down and then that's where the blood would be wrong that, that that be very it. mindful that she also walked into a wall while she after she got drunk that means the jury believes that it's more likely he hurt her Yes. Then she got, she was, there's video evidence of her walking into a wall drunk. She was so drunk, she passed out in the loft. But for some reason, he's such a threat that. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. And the crazy part is, this lady's really balling off of this man, bro. Like, she got this man's card. She buying all types of liquor, all this extra stuff. She making, he, like, she's literally making this dude's life fall apart in front of our eyes. In front of everybody, the whole America, because of the person he is, his life is literally falling apart right in front of our eyes. And what can he do about it? Like, bro. They can't fathom she injured herself drunk out of her fucking mind by herself. Now again, let's be what clear. The fuck? There, there's, there's no what? proof. There is no, technically speaking, there's no proof that we have that she got injured irrefutably doing something else. But also it's not on Jonathan Major's part. They have to prove that she got injured within a reasonable doubt after that, during that incident. Even though there's several pieces of evidence that it doesn't seem that way. And it's very reasonable to believe that a woman who was so drunk out of her mind that she walked into a wall and also nah, that's passed crazy. out in the closet, it's very reasonable to believe that she could have did that to herself. And also seeing from some of the other text messages and voice messages that we recorded, that were recorded, um, you could very well argue that she may have done this before in a way that I read it as a man being in some similar situations or other men that I know been in similar situations. What it sounds like is Jonathan Majors is disappointed in the way that she handles herself with her alcohol. Yes. She's not being a proper representation of herself and embarrassing herself in the relationship they have and not honestly and genuinely recognizing the sacrifice that he made. Yeah, like he's fed up, but out of context, it sounds like he a crazy man. Like, he's fed up and he's addressing her actions, her, like, the situations she put herself in. And it's not adding up with what he got in mind for them. That's literally what it is. And he's addressing that. But she, we just hearing the voice. We not understanding the context. And it seemed like throughout this entire case, they forgetting the context. They're not looking at the context. They're not looking at the whole thing. It's like they trying to prove this one thing right that would benefit her, you know? Because we can't lock her up. She gets so <laughs> drunk that it leads to that level of representation. Who knows what could have happened? There's a possibility that she's bumped her head before on something. That she's done ridiculous wild stuff while she's drunk. That has resulted in her essentially injuring herself. And Jonathan Majors just said, yo, um, take some painkillers first. Let's try. Before you go to the hospital, they start asking you questions. Because I now it looks like I done bopped you left and right. Take some painkillers yeah. first. And then we'll, we'll figure out it after that. Because you about to just warn me. Because you don't know how to handle your liquor. Wow. That's that's because she after, went out by herself and got blackout drunk. Think about how dangerous that is. She didn't yeah. go by herself. She met some strangers and got blackout drunk. Think about how dangerous that is. <laughs> you know, they don't have no allegiance towards you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're so low. And any anybody could have obviously niggas gonna like try and you feel me? This is even that part. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. That's yeah. Crazy. Why is you? Why is you and two niggas accompany you on a night out? You you got. Yeah, like, bro, this is not it. This is not adding up, bro. I blacked out drunk yes. around some random strangers. That's that's how loose you are with some of your decision making. So again, like Adrian said, the one who was actually reckless that night was her. But it is so interesting, especially the way the conversation is is centered around all of this. Damn, how no bro. one is talking about that at all. It's all about Jonathan Majors, and which then leads to the bigger point of this video. To the fellas out there, I don't know what else you need to see. This trial is irrefutable evidence that you as a man is at a massive deficit when you're dealing with women. You're at a massive deficit, bro. There's no other way around it, bro. She acted reckless by essentially trying to steal. This is this is what the, the lawyer should have said. Yo, you stole his, even if you wanna say that he did injure you in this altercation, technically speaking, he has the right to receive his person from back from you, which would be the cell phone, that you took from him forcefully. He has a right to use force to take that back as well as separate you forcefully because you are essentially assaulting him as well. But they didn't they didn't argue that. They were trying to argue that she yeah. wasn't injured in the first place. I'm but pretty sure he counter- he, he, yeah, this is tough because as as a lawyer for a man, you got to attack it differently. Like, And your choice in words, your decision on what to attack 
is it, it make a huge difference, bro. They didn't, they didn't argue that. They were trying to argue that she wasn't even injured in the first place. I'm but pretty sure he counter... He, he tried to counter sue her, but the judge said, no, we're not going to allow that to happen. So when... So if Dang. I grab Lowe's phone, and this nigga's like, give me my phone back. And he assaulted it. me, and I did nothing wrong? First of all, there's a lot wrong with this. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's obvious the bias in the court system. We don't even have to fucking beat that horse till it fucking dies. The reality is, is Marvel drops it. I don't know if you heard it. Yeah, and then also, what? To all this is, as soon as the, the verdict came in... Marvel dropped him from basically everything. And it's like, oh my. They, they wait. Nah, this is not it. Matter of fact, it's okay, my brother. Marvel's going down a, a very slippery slope. They not they not dropping that heat. So don't even worry about this. Keep your head up, bro. Because Marvel, hey, I'm not going to lie. We don't even got to boycott Marvel. They already, we are already working on that. Okay. Marvel okay. Dropped him. <laughs> yeah, and then also the result of all this is as soon as the, the verdict came in, Marvel dropped him from basically everything. And it's like the, they waited because they probably would have just let it fly. Yeah, valid, valid. Mm -hmm. And the reality is, is they probably like him and realize that the re or Marvel is too PG of a brand to be yeah. in the space of this type of allegations to begin with. So the second in the guilty, boom, he's getting packed. So he loses out on all the momentum he's built with Creed. The uh, hard work. Uh, all of the Marvel movies. He loses out on all of that momentum in his career because of an incident where it seems as though he did nothing wrong. Bro, all he did I'd be was stressed. trying to remove himself from a situation. And she was so aggressive in pursuit that they found him as the one moving recklessly. Yes. She chased this nigga down blocks, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. They have to have... Bro, I'm not gonna lie. It's making me mad just hearing them talk about this, bro. Oh, I will be so stressed, bro. I can't tell you, bro. And this is why, like, as I'm starting to grow my YouTube channel and I'm... Bro, the appeal of of reckless women or women in general... Like, I really do pay attention to my partner because it's huge. The dating market is garbage. Like, I don't know. I just be focused on me at this point. Right now in my life, I'm focused on me and what I want to do. The one moving recklessly. Yes. She chased this nigga down blocks, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. They have to have some evidence we don't know about. I just refuse to believe yeah, they indicted they got this to. nigga on this evidence. It sounds too unbelievable, though. It sounds insane, bro. Yeah. And the, to the people making this a black man, white woman conversation, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. This, I think that has something to do. Like, you making this a conversation about something, this man's life is falling apart. Like, it should, it, we shouldn't even be worried about the grand scope of things. It should be this man, this woman, this situation. Bro, this, bro, stop, bro. It don't matter. It's a, num number one, not only is it about them, it could be something bigger. Oh, don't worry about it, bro. Black man, white woman conversation. <sighs> what this the fuck is. is wrong with you, my nigga? This I think that has something to do with it. I think most no, people are. Bro. Jonathan Majors don't give a fuck about, about that. That's what he deserved for dating that milk. Look at that top comment. <laughs> All y'all niggas have craving milk. This is what comes to that lifestyle. Yeah. Almost as if to say yeah. he deserves this yep. for dating somebody no. that he, I'm assuming, fell in love with. That's not something he deserves. And, what's, and when y'all say it, y'all essentially are acknowledging. And the crazy part, y'all do, like, a lot of y'all be prejudiced and racist. That's the truth. The honest to God truth. You be worried about everybody else but your damn self. And that's the problem with the world right now, bro. People don't know how to stay in their lane, do what they're supposed to do, handle their business. And that's why a lot of people are not successful. That's why a lot of people are bitter. That's why a lot of people don't have no friends. That's why a lot of people got fake friends. That's why a lot of people's life is so miserable. They're so caught up in the world. And they're not caught up on their self, in their lane, worried about what they're supposed to be doing, living the best life that they're supposed to be living. Like, they're so consumed with the internet. And they like, ah, it's so aggravating, bro fell in love with. That's and I'm here reacting with. And, what's, and when y'all say it, y'all essentially are acknowledging I'll be focused that on white me women in particular my can get away with these things because, you know, because they're white women. And you, you are acknowledging the disadvantages of it. I think this just has way more to just do with, again, the relationships with men and women and how, as a man, you're dealing with a woman that puts you at a disadvantage, at a deficit. You're dealing with a woman that is a liability. You now become more accountable for her liabilities than your own. Your self. own. You and know, on top of that, who, why, what's stopping men from seeing this situation and being like, why would I call the police to help In the first place, yeah. He, yeah. Called, he went to his own he law, did what he was found her passed supposed out to do. with blood and called the police, which is what you would do if you cared about the person that was on the fucking ground. He wasn't thinking about what the implications might be for him. And then this is the result. This is the result. Which, again, I want to be clear to the people out there who think that he's this aggressive bopper. It's not consistent with the type of character that 
that they tried to outline. How is it possible that this man, for maybe a, a few instances prior, was so aware of like making sure that no one knew that he was bobbing her to the point where he didn't even want her to go to the hospital because that could then lead to a line of questions that could then reveal that he actually is bobbing yeah. her. All of a sudden, sees her passed out in this man's loft with a bruised, a bruised finger cut behind the ear and some pills and was like, yeah. I need to call the police now. After, allegedly, he's the one who smacked her across the face in the car as she claimed. Of course that's not what happened. That, 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 doesn't, that doesn't... Yeah, like, that don't even make sense. That don't even make sense. I smacked her, did all of this stuff, and I'm gonna call the cops. Because I see, like... It doesn't even make any sense. But yeah, you're right. What's the point of me even calling the police now? I'm putting myself at jeopardy because this is how your night resulted in. Yet again, you're drunk as hell and passed out somewhere randomly. Oh, you know that's tough. On the other hand, I will say this, he do have to take some form of accountability because this is not a new problem, which in my, def in my defense, he probably was giving her a chance. He cared about her. He loved her. That's based on what I'm hearing from the situation, what I'm seeing from the situation. But on the other hand, if you see that this is this person's character, you know that you're a high status symbol, let it go. It's not worth it. Now, I know that's easier said than done because you're human and I done been attached to a woman. I'm still, you know, you know how I be, bro. But if they gonna do this and you got success and, you know, please, you have to really go deep within yourself and it's gonna be painful, but you gotta let it go. And this is an example for anybody out there, any guy, any, hey, let it go, please. Think about yourself and what you need to do with your life. I know you wanna give people a chance and all of that extra stuff, but let's just be real. It's tough out here. Tough. Yo, that means. And now wait, let me let me. It is once again because in court she was. It was already proven by professionals, by other people who've been around her, by even several messages and comments that were provided between both of them. One of which we heard in the voice recording that she abuses alcohol. So this is a repeat yeah. character flaw of her. That's so mind blowing to me. And only yeah, because he, fumbled, when he was bro. when he was pushing her back into the car. Jerry it felt like fumbled. He felt like he was doing it just too aggressively, and it led to this. Now, Jury fumbled, bro. to yes, also be badly. clear, both charges are misdemeanors. Again, he might not even have to serve any Anytime. time at all. And That's for the good. People who are saying, "Oh, don't worry about it. it's a misdemeanor. He don't have to serve no time, possibly." It's da, the da, 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 da. bro. The it, consequences. It's not really about that. It's about the perception that people have. I've already seen several news articles represent this entire story completely incorrectly. I've seen major publications claim that he was found guilty on both charges of a. And that's the crazy part because they don't care. They want want to get them views. They want to, bro. Uh, bro. Now this look bad on him. He got fired. Like, bro. The stress that this man had to go through for something that he was supposed to be doing, like he did all of the right stuff from what we can see, it's tough, bro. This is a scary, scary outcome. Correctly. I've seen it could happen to publications him. claim that he was found guilty on both charges of assault. I've seen it. It's the concept that you as a man was found guilty of some form of assault against a woman. That's it. That's that's what it's found. That's that's it. Reality is most people don't look into situations. They, don't. they won't look at the details. No. They won't even know he was charged with four things, found guilty of two. Nope. They'll just see. Oh, he beat her. Guilty. Yep. Yeah. And that's the that's the majority of people. That's the information they're gonna receive from. Yep. And companies story. know that. So now there's gonna be the ongoing perception. He's gonna have to fight for the rest of his life that he beat her, bro. Yep. The biggest one of the biggest takeaways I get from this is that it is so disingenuous when men are asked repeatedly to understand women's POVs in relationship dynamics, right? As a man, you have to understand that if she sleeps with you too early, then you are, um, then she may be considered a slut. If you are a man, you gotta make sure you don't hover around her drink too much, because people do, they put roofies in her drink. If you are a man, you gotta make sure you walk into a car at night because people are aggressive and they, they try to steal from women, et cetera, et cetera. If you are a man, there's so many aspects from a woman's POV that you have to understand. If it's that time of the month for her, you gotta give her some leeway because she can be a little extra emotional. There's so many things. Yeah. Like, women don't have to do that, bro. I mean, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. You just they they, they don't POV. care. They don't care. To you, this is probably a not not that big of a yeah. deal. But okay. like what like that's part of the reason why I don't even like going out. I wondered, yeah, girls don't have to tiptoe. That's what they saying. Like girls don't have to tiptoe. I mean, they have to It's tough because they have to think about that stuff too. And they project that on us, but like uh, I don't know. I hate that the world like this. Probably a not not that big of a deal, but okay. like what like that's part of the reason why I don't even like going out. Like 
how do you even know who you can interact with? Everybody's drunk. And nowadays, if you're drunk, that you doesn't even count as consent. So, like, what can you even yeah. do with anybody? If you're drunk, is it equal? Like, it's like, bro, that whole hassle, I'm not going to lie, is not worth the future headache, bro. Yeah. And and the reality is, it's not that hard to treat people well. Um, yeah. With some decency. At all. In this situation, I think he did the right thing. Running away was the only thing you can do when someone's being really aggressive. When someone feels like there's, bro, that is, what's the word for that? Entitled? She's entitled. It's the yeah. entitlement from her that she can grab his phone. It's the entitlement for her. Nah, facts, because she knows it's, no, it's not going to be no repercussions. And that's what they really, 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 really saying. She knows that it's not going to be any repercussions. So she don't care. She going to grab the phone if she want to grab that phone. But as a man, especially of his status, you seen that they had the cameras right there. You're not grabbing her phone. You think twice about that. Matter of fact, you don't even think about like you may, it may come across your mind, but you know, hell no, that would be the dumbest thing to do. But girls don't have to think like that. They think, oh, let me grab this phone because I know ain't nothing going to happen. You know? And when somebody really, really aggressive towards you and they have that audacity, the freedom to do that with no repercussions, oh, they're going to try you if they got to try you. They're going to try you if they want to try you. Like, ah, oh, bro. Titled. It's the entitlement from her that she can grab his phone. It's the entitlement for her that she could be aggressive around him. And it's the entitlement that she knows he's not going to do nothing to hurt her. And so she could be as aggressive as she wants. She could chase him eight blocks if she wants to. And it's the, it's the patience and the reserve from him of backing away, backing away, stop, yeah. Put my phone back, backing away, and running eight blocks, my nigga, what, bro, that is what you should be coaching people to do, like, if someone's being aggressive towards you, just yeah. de-escalate, de-escalate and remove yourself from the yeah. situation. Yeah, but you can't, that's the painful part, like, he did it to a T, like, he did exactly what he was supposed to do, he literally did the utmost and ran away, and he still found guilty, and that's what a lot of, like, a lot of men do not like dating. A lot of men don't like the concept of m dating in today's age because it comes with so, 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 so much. You got to pay for the first date, maybe three, four, five dates. Girls feel like you're supposed to pay a whole bunch of money to get their attention. They got hella options. Like, it's just, they got really good jobs. It's, bro. And we over here just stress the hell out on this side. Let's keep it a bean, bro. We can't, hey, as men, we cannot go down this rabbit hole. We can't keep chasing this thing. Mm -mm. We got to do what's best for us. Going forward, 2024, we have to be smart. We have to do what's good for us. And I know that we want relationships. I know that we want love. And despite what the social media and everybody else say, we know what's going on out here. Do not be dumb. Do not be stupid. If you got to be able to, if you have to be by yourself, do it, bro. I promise you, it's way better to be happy and be less stressed and live your life alone than to be going down this rabbit hole and doing all of this extra stuff and dealing with stuff like this, bro. Locks, it's not worth it. What? If, bro, it's, if it happened to happen, it happened. What coaching people to do? Like, if someone's being aggressive towards you, just de-escalate. De-escalate and remove yourself from the situation. But you can't, but apparently they're saying that even when you're attempting to de-escalate, de you can't do that too aggressively. Bro, You what? do that too aggressively, <laughs> you might unintentionally Crazy. harm that person. So now we got to hit you with a charge. Bro, if the police caught that charge for every time they tried to de-escalate, there'd be no police force in America. Because in the process of de-escalating, if someone's acting recklessly, sometimes they get hurt. The reality is, in this specific situation, it's way more likely she got hurt blackout drunk on a night by herself with some strangers. That's yeah. way more likely. She was walking into walls. <laughs> Bro, that's like... Blaming, blaming him for her drunk night out is pretty fucking bananas when there's literally no evidence to prove that he was acting aggressively or he was yeah. being violent. He has no history of those things. This just feels like, this just feels like, fuck him, a complete lack of perspective or empathy. And perspective. Um, now he gets to deal with the consequences of that. And the reality is, she will deal with zero. We Genuine, believe, what is he supposed believe. to do in that situation? So that's, that's yeah. the question. If he's trying to remove so himself from the car and she jumps on him like this, if he just goes anyway, there's a good chance she gets hurt because now she's being dragged that, along. So that's why I said to like, bro, her, her finger could have got bruised off the fact Anything. that if, he's hold, if you took my phone and I'm trying to grab it from you and my hand overlaps in your hand and I'm pushing up against it, your finger could have got bruised then. Her finger could have got bruised as I'm running away, your finger latches on into something yeah. because he was missing a button. She could have got bruised. Things. 
She, her finger could have got bruised off of that alone. There's so many things that her finger truly could have got bruised on. But I ask, I, I genuinely, to the people what out do we here do? who believe that this man is guilty and he was still in the wrong, I ask you, what do you want from men to do in that scenario? Dead ass. What's he Dead ass. What do you want? What do you what do you want? Because if the result of this all is that you are saying that it is fine and when a woman puts her hands on a man, that a man just can't do nothing. He just has to figure out a way to remove himself from that situation without without showing any form of physicality at all. If that's what you're saying, again, that is a concept that many women already believe, and it's the yeah. reason why many women act the way that she acted that night. And when women see this going forward, they're going to know that they could get away with some BS and it's going to be okay. That's the problem. Already believe, and it's the reason why many women act the way that she acted that night, because they know they can just do whatever. The, the bar he has to reach for people to consider him innocent compared to the bar she has to reach for people to admit that she had a fucking wild night. And she was the one who acted wrong is nuts. But yeah, let us yeah. know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Jonathan Majors lost his roles with Marvel. We'll see if anybody's willing to fucking employ him now. I'll probably yeah. for the foreseeable future. But let us know what y'all think in the comment section down below. If you missed our last video, which was just a few days ago. Where Bro, and the crazy part is, if this man, I hope this man was watching this money. Because from what I heard, she was spinning on his card. Bro, imagine this man's, oh, this man's whole life gonna change, bro. If nobody employed this man because of this situation, which is understandable from a company, I hate to see it, man. Imagine this man worked so hard. Now he got to go work a regular job. He put all Maybe he put all of his eggs into the acting thing. He thought it was really working. He didn't think he would ever have to work a regular job, and now he have to backpedal. You know, you... I, I don't know. Let me know how y'all felt about this down in the comment section. I'm out.